Well, uh, yep. there's your Poseidon adventure. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we are back with Stormworks, and as you can see behind us, we have the Edisto, the 2019 version, and it has been completely refit by Rare Preserver, as you know, and yeah, we're going to be testing it out against some of these Megalodons, so yeah guys, let's get into the video. What the heck is, oh, okay, uh, um... hey, ship! This is no longer a lifeboat. This is a freaking death boat. I'm gonna get out of here. Is it sinking? Oh, oh Probably, yeah, yeah. now it is. It's sinking, it's sinking all right. Wow. Here. We we haven't even gotten into the video yet, and it's we've already got a sinking ship. The lifeboat system was put in by Sal, and also shout out to him. Actually, I think yeah, Sal made the ship advanced and made the lifeboat system, and Aqua was the one who built the lifeboats, right? Yes. So, Jesse has done a time lapse of this ship sinking, but I think that was well before I did all this modification. Yeah, it was way before the thing was actually advanced. Because, as Railroad said, the ship was made advanced by Sal, which is awesome. As you can see, after that, I essentially, if you were to look at it, this time lapse video, you can see how different even that version looks to compare this one. This is a comp this is essentially 2019 because it gave I gave it a remodeling one heck of a remodeling, so yeah if we if you come back out here we can start the tour out here so so yeah guys this is the helipad that's on the uh, ship here so if you wanted to land a helicopter on it you got room for that you got actually plenty of room now thanks to the boats being gone but here wait what <laughs> notice this just now what oh my god. Look! Look what's on there instead of a magnet. Are you kidding me? Oh! Oh, wow. Um... <laughs> can, can, can I please change this real quick? This is going to really no. bug me. No, it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> but yeah, this helipad is the only real original part on the boat at this point, I think. Yeah, but remember, you all, on your version that you did a video with Oz on, there was only these two back winches. There was no mast. There was really... None of this. So yeah, you've got the lifeboat system after the helipads, which of course, as you can tell, pretty much deployed without orders being given. So uh, good job there. Um, moving further, you have this outside bench. And also if you look at the railings here, um, you can see there's drainage holes there and I've kept them streamlined to fit with the ship. Moving further towards the front, you've got the enclosed promenade deck, which has seating for your viewing pleasure. And there's a pretty much unobstructed windows, again, for your viewing pleasure, for you to look out along the port and starboard sides and up at the stars at night. And there's n not only that, we have lights here. Lots of them. So, yeah. And, of course, if you look up here, as families would say, you've got a lovely little funnel, which is pretty much unobstructed as you can literally walk right beside it. So, uh, there you go, Spamels. Hope you're happy. So, anyway, stepping into... From the enclosed promenade, you now enter the dining room, which is able to seat at least, I think, if I remember correctly, if you counted each chair by fours, like each set of four chairs, that would fit like at least probably, I don't know, 20 people, if I remember correctly. So anyway, saving me the trouble of opening the door, moving even forward, we have the bow, which has a cargo hold, anchor controls that are open to the deck, and the forward bow mast which has marker lights and a deck light. Um, of course, unlike our newest ship that has become my pet project, which has essentially replaced this one in terms of that role, the anchors on this one are open to the sea, so uh, have fun trying to deal with those in rough weather. Could you come in, please, so I can seal the door? Um, wouldn't want the freaking sea to pour in. I don't think I don't think paying patrons would want salt water as part of their you freaking know what? As I said when I originally released this ship and made a video on it with Oz's, this also doubles as a pool, but I don't know if it's still a pool, or doubles as a pool anymore. There's no pool. Uh, well, unfortunately, in the recent refurbishment, um, a lot of people said the pool was giving them a lot of problems, so we had to uh, remove it, so... Nothing and by personal. pool, I mean when the water flooded in through oh, yeah. the doors. Oh, yeah. That's that. Never mind, yeah. So anyways, moving into here... Oh, also, uh, these crew cabins, uh, well, they don't flood anymore, so that's good. Thank God, I was hoping that glitch would have been solved. That's really... So moving here and forward, we have the, um... Come here, please. You said... 
You have jinxed us. But anyway, yeah, moving aft, you have the laundry room for the cabins. And speaking of cabins, we have, yeah, I wouldn't show them this one, so seal that one, please. Yeah, no kidding. Moving into this one, yeah, that's a glitch. We don't know how to fix this. I don't even know how to fix this. So yeah, here's your, here is the passenger accommodation. There's four of these cabins. This is the only one that's really different, aside from the uh, shelf in the cabinet there. So it's a, it seats two people. There's a shelf above the uh, nightstand, which has a clock and a lamp. And then, of course, you've got this dresser here, which has a, a TV on it with a guide and a remote. And there's also a light switch here for the uh, cabin light, which clearly no longer has power. Um, I honestly don't know what the heck that's causing. So, yeah, moving further aft, if we go on the left side, any, anyone who's been on ships enough knows that what this is. It's the uh, sick bay. So in here, it's split off. This is a dual room here. So you've got this one, which stores medical supplies. And then in here is essentially the uh, sick bay and triage. And, of course, I finally got the surgery lot removed. This is or replaced, rather. So this is the last thing I added in. So that's your operating thing. You'd set your tools up here. Um, Hello, sir. Um, oh, gosh. You don't... Oh, this is kind of disorienting. So as you can see, you can move the light just like that on each side, end of the body. So if you need to operate on it, there you go. Oh, no, don't and blind me. Good. Nope, nope. Well, I was going to say, you needed some LASIK surgery done. So I was going to save you the trouble. Oh, no that's risk very nice of you. No risk guarantee. See, now these are your recovery beds here. Unfortunately, it's only able to fit three people all together. But, yeah, this is just a little back cabin and here. And Donovan's favorite room, the ship's yeah, the library. Oh, look. Look out here. Oh, isn't it just beautiful? Our only uh, saving Life. grace, the little stinky lifeboat, now sits out there rocking in the waves, never to be used. This book right here is a reference to a, uh, well, to a dictionary that I have, Webster's Dictionary. You've got your uh, Mariner's Bible there, which is the first book on the shelf, I should mention. Because let's face it, we're probably going to need that in a few uh, in a few more minutes. But here, this is a perfect reference for me. These first two layers of um, books here, if you look, let me turn the lights on, sorry if it lags. But if you look here, this first one is World Book Encyclopedias, which I actually owned a set of in real life. Below that is uh, National Geographic, which I own in, in real life. In fact, behind my computer is a bookshelf that has close to, I think, 80 or 90 National Geographic magazines from varying years. Below that is uh, Times Magazine, which uh, just shows a sign of the Times, really. And then you've just got miscellaneous books throughout here, if you look at from it at this angle. And, of course, you've got your uh, table here to read books on. And each light here is actually supposed to be desk lamps. Probably should have had those angled down, so I may... I, that might, this, all this stuff I'm noticing that I missed on here may just give me a reason to come back and do a few updates here and there. So we can leave these open. I just want to keep doors that practically glitch out shut. Now leads us to the other area below, at the bottommost deck, which is the galley and other assorted rooms. So no moving forward. No passengers here. Well, I can make exceptions since I'm really the only other person on board. Well, so you're the captain. This is the galley. Which is the chef's kitchen. You've got a sink, you've got a dishwasher, wine rack. dishware storage, you've got a wine rack, you've got a prep table, which as you can see, I can, I did all this detailing work myself, minus the knives and all. You did, I can thank Jesse for that. You've got a stove here, which has been heavily updated, which by the way, here, let me turn it to night real quick so you can see the detailing better. Oh gosh, that is incredibly dark. I, well. Thank you, okay. So yeah, and you've got your uh, plate storage here. That's what that shelf is for. So that's to store like trays and whatnot. So yeah, as you can see, they've got, this ain't no mystery meat. That's uh, some ribs there. Got some plates being prepared. You've got cutting board for vegetables. The key here is to prevent cross-contamination. You do not want to make your passengers sick. That's the thing. Let's, let's be honest here. You got a knife for every job concerning vegetables. Oh, and uh, as they say, for us in Georgia, when it comes to to cooking meat, secrets in the sauce, y'all. So yeah, moving forward, you have the refrigerated goods, and on this side you have the dried goods, which is basically canned items like bread and all, canned, you know, all that sort of stuff. Then you've got the freezer or frozen goods. Now, if you look here, 
if you look up, you can see the uh, heating and air system. So anyway, moving back aft now, you have an area for like extra batteries and whatnot. Entering into here, this is the engine room. Now originally, the door was in the center, so I've moved that. So there's three engines. Don't know what the horsepower ratio it is. I'm sure it's a freaking lot. So here you've got the startup system, which I will now engage from down here. So this is the first time I've done this. Also, that there is for um, stability. That's to help prevent listing. So, yeah. Now, ignition. There we go. There we go. Well, I need to turn over the pit. It's not good. Wouldn't want anything to suddenly attack us out of nowhere. So, yeah, in here is the backup generators and fuel tank. As you can see, all these gauges light up, which I will now demonstrate. Yeah, look at all this. Beautiful. And the uh, fuel gauge is having an absolute epileptic seizure over here. Well, now that the engines are running, and I will now go and actually seal these doors back, because wouldn't want the water to suddenly flood in like it often does, or like it often did. I don't know. I hope these overhauls that I've last did, hopefully those prevent this thing from sinking again. As you can see, if you I don't know if you noticed, but up here I've also made it so that the dome has a railing around it to keep some crewmen from uh, falling in or falling on it and breaking it. Um, yeah, also, if you notice, guys, the ship is turned like on a dime, which is a godsend. Um, also, could you come out of the bridge for a minute, please? Yeah, no problem. Just gonna... All right. <clears throat> Hello. So, yeah, right here is the um, storage locker for all the survival gear. I'll leave that open so you can get out, so... On the outside, we have firefighting gear. On the inside, we've got thermal clothing and all that stuff. So, yeah. Fluid jet clutches at a freaking hundred. Fluid jet trim all the freaking way. So, that should open up. Or not open up. That should increase our speed just a bit. So, we've got bridge lights. I'll turn these on quick so that Desi doesn't die from lag. We've got the back lights. I'll leave those on. Oh, nameplate lights. Let me turn it to night. And you might want to use the camera feature for this. Oh, that's awesome. And there's heating activated, there is nav lights, which are essentially a lot, pretty much all external running lights. You've got helipad lights, you've got upper deck lights, and you've got... <laughs> oh, good lord, let me turn these off, actually. We, we're also trying to conserve power here, so, uh, yeah. Donovan? What? You might want to come outside. Um, that's you taking that risk, boy. I think a shark just went by, like, really close. We've got plenty of speed. We've got plenty of rudders. We'll be fine. All right, I'm going to go into a zigzag pattern. I know people haven't probably done this since World War II, but I don't care. I don't be... see whatever it is anymore. It's gone. I think the fog is lifting, too, which is good. Let me check the gauges. Okay, humidity has dropped from 60 to 30, which is a godsend because I can't stand the humidity. Yeah, it's, it's lifting. The fog's lifting. The rain apparently isn't just going to let up, but I know we were probably passing through a long yeah, fog back. Yeah, the fog is really lifting up now. I can see the islands and stuff. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank you for taking over. Yep, no problem. The rain is dropping to at least 45%. Oh, that's good. I don't know, I don't know what that would be in normal inch terms, because I know there's no such thing as 45 inches of rain in like a few minutes. Uh, Don... What the... Alright, that's well. it. Happened. Oh. Look at the damage. Yeah. Oh. Holy man. Okay, between the engine room and the uh, stairwell has been compromised. We're not taking water, but the door won't shut now. The, the door track is damned, so, uh. I, can you go down and seal the remaining? Yes, that, I'm doing that now. Oh. Wow, that's. Dude. Door is broken. It's broken. Seal the remaining ones up ahead of you. Seal them. Got Seal it. them. If we do start flooding from this thing hitting us, we gotta make sure the water can be contained. Yeah. That door, that water take door, gone. And you know what, Donovan? I think that's enough. If this compartment, or if these two compartments go, we're screwed. We'll be deep in the water by that time. Oh, boy, Donovan. The shark is huge. I'm back. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. We're hold tipping. On to the railing. Hold on to the railing. We're tipping. Oh my gosh. We're going to capsize. 
Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Hold the dang wheel! Brace yourself. We're, we're rolling back over. We're stabilizing. Oh! Whoa! Hold your freaking hats. Mate, we're listing like really freaking bad. Donovan, don't move. Don't move. If we start moving, this guy's gonna slam right into our propellers. Activating. Yep, activate the pumps. We want those. No, pumps are already showing signs that water has started to enter somewhere. It's not enough to be seen, but the bottom of the hull is damaged. The, the side is damaged. One of the alarms is damaged. I'm looking. We're not having any visible water. Dude, there's a shark underneath us. Yeah, I Buddy? Agree. Buddy? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa! What's going on? Oh! We're getting hit! Seal doors! Grab another ladder! I'm under the water! I'm in the water! Right. Man overboard! Get to the ladder! Get to the ladder! I'm going as quick as I can. Oh! We're flooded! Okay, we're, ro we're rolling. I'm going to check for damage now. Do this it. Is re this is beyond serious at this point. We only seem to be hitting on the starboard side. The port side is undamaged. Thank right. God, most of the pumps are on this side too. This is gonna, this is gonna impact. Um, I, I brace yourself immediately. Hey, oh, that, that does not sound good. Oh, hold on, hold on. Go the doors. Hold on. That was right at our stern. I'm activating the pumps to try and contain the flooding. If we can control it, we'll have a chance. Oh, oh, that was loud. Whoa, whoa. That was loud. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold on. Everything inside is going sideways. I think the I think we just pulled a Poseidon, Donovan. You don't say. Uh, oh, oh, oh it's rolling. It's rolling. It's rolling back over. Water's gushing in somewhere. Try the dining room, and I'm pretty much inside now, and I'm gonna seal this. Whoa! Why are we listing <laughs> forward so bad? We're capsizing. Again? Yeah, this time we're not having a shark do it. I hate to tell you this, but this time we are not recovering. We're screwed. <laughs> well, uh, yep. there's your Poseidon adventure. Evidently. Well, wait a minute. I take that back. Hold oh, on. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Dude! They're attacking us. Like, they are underwater attacking us. Oh, boy! Hold on! Hold on! We're probably gonna flip back over. The minute we do, get to the bridge and get us moving. Oh, uh, wait, are we flying? No. Mate, are we taking on water? Yes. <laughs> and that's from, the, uh, that's from the hatch. We'll be fine. The key now is to stay calm. We cannot panic. Panicking only makes there be a lot more confusion and a lot more problems. Donovan, we have huge damage on the, uh... On the above or below? Uh, above now. And Donovan, there is a pump. brace yourself. Two sharks. I'm braced. Two sharks. Oh, 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 God. Three. Oh, I think that's three. Oh, goodness. In the port side now? Yes. There. I think there were just three sharks that hit us at once. Oh, they're doing the Harlem stuff for now. Okay, so we've got pumps still running. Um, that's good. Okay, we've got. All pumps are active in the engine room at the moment, as is the one in here, I think. Okay, yeah. Um, we're not flooding in that area that was damaged on the port side. So they are striking us there. Uh, the brace yourself. There's one heading I'm straight bracing. for the bow. I'm bracing. Straight for the bow. Wait. Bam. It there's hatches. There's hatches in there. We've got gallons of water now entering. Okay, it hit, so it hit the one that apparently provides water coolant. Um, that's an issue. It also damaged a pump. Yes, it got Donovan, most of the Donovan, water. Donovan, there's water on the bridge. I'm stopping the ship. What do you mean water's on the bridge? There's no way we've dropped down that low. Oh, crap. Uh, Wait a minute, I'm looking at this. Yeah, it's not good. I don't know what's going on, but we're dropping quick. Water's rising up the dome. It's going. What's the use now? It's going. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, gosh. I don't want to do this. You know what? Nope. Oh! 
Effort. Oh! I think I jumped off the ship at the right time! Save yourself, boy! Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the library. There's nothing more I can do. I had it here for just that reason. Oh, uh, bye, Jesse! <laughs> <laughs> What more can you do? There's no point Hello. in going. How's it going over there? It's pretty freaking bad. <laughs> Looks like you're a little low in the water, my friend. You don't say, Sherlock. Of course I'm low in the water. Sherlock, you don't say. Of course I'm low in the water. I'm bloody sinking. And he's dead. There's plenty of air left. There's plenty of air left, yes. Oh my god, of course. The minute I try to get out, it goes vertical, and I can't climb. And oh, I, the I, ship I, is I gone. And I'm really surprised that there are no sharks around. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see y'all next time, guys. Goodbye.